Job chapter 1 verse 20 reads, Then Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshipped. And he said, Naked I came out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return. The Lord gives and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Dear Lord, you are the almighty God. Nothing is too hard for you. You remain sovereign and faithful in all circumstances, no matter how bleak. In the midst of Job's suffering and loss, he remained devoted to you, even though he was overwhelmed by grief and turmoil. Lord, we thank you for your infinite wisdom and strength that can carry us through any trial. You are sovereign and ever faithful, even when our faith falters. Help us to trust in you and remain devoted no matter the circumstances. May we always hold fast to your promises, even when our path is hard. We wait upon you with expectation and awe, for you alone are our rock and our salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My friends, welcome to your meditative prayer on overcoming depression. To get the most out of your spiritual journey, use Pray.com every day and make prayer a priority in your life. Again, our goal for today's meditative prayer is overcoming depression. So let's begin by just taking a moment to relax. Find a comfortable spot wherever you can focus on this moment of self-reflection. And as you close your eyes, Take a deep breath and fill your lungs with air. And then as you exhale, let go of the worries weighing heavy on your mind. Today we'll be meditating on Job chapter 1 verse 20 from the King James Version. It says, Then Job arose and rented his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and he worshipped. And he said, Naked I came out of my mother's womb and naked shall I return. The Lord gives, and the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now let's begin by taking a moment just to pour out our adoration to God. God, I praise you because everything I have has been given by you. I praise you because you are the Lord of all. God, I worship you for you are always in control. Your reign cannot be opposed, and you are sovereign over all things. It's hard to trust God while discouraged and depressed. To worship Him when you don't understand why things are happening the way that they are. You know, this can cause you to feel as if you have no control over anything, and that things will never change for the better. In this state, it becomes easy to want to shut down and close yourself off. But you must not lose heart, for there is hope. You do not have to figure everything out this second. It's okay to take time and to sit with your emotions, to process them. There may not even be a reason as to why you feel the way you do. And God understands this. Like with Job, God does not require you to have the answers, just that you trust in Him. Confess to God what you are going through. Like with Job, God does not require you to have the answers, just that you trust in Him. Confess to God what you are going through. Tell Him of your despair and hopelessness. Share with Him your apathy and discontent. Take a moment now to dwell on the truth of God's goodness. Thank God that despite your circumstances and your emotions, that you can trust Him. Thank Him that He is a good God and that He has a plan for your life. Thank God because He is in control and He cares for you. Thank Him for His past goodness in your life and for all that is yet to come. Never forget, God is present and He's listening to you. 
once again, bring to mind the depression you are struggling with. Ask God for the ability to hope, to see beyond your current reality, to trust beyond understanding, and to know that God is in control. Ask God to increase your faith in his word, faith to pray peace over yourself, faith to have confidence that God has a good future for you. Remember, it is possible to worship God in the midst of fear and the unknown. Depression can make life difficult and challenging, yes. You won't always understand why things happen the way that they do. You may not be able to control your emotions or circumstances, but you can choose to trust God and in His provision for your life. Choose this day to open your heart to Christ and allow Him to fill you with the peace and knowledge that you will overcome this season.
Psalm 43 verse 5 reads, Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the health of my countenance and my God. Pray with me if you would. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, you are the hope of your people. You have been our refuge from generation to generation. In you alone do we find a great comfort and peace. Your steadfast love shines like a beacon in our lives as you continually provide us in times of struggle and distress. We thank you, O oh God, for your unwavering faithfulness. Your mercy and grace are as vast as the oceans and skies, never ceasing in their strength. Each day, we can trust confidently that your presence will remain near to us at all times. We praise you for your goodness and your protection. And it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Welcome to your meditative prayer on overcoming depression. To get the most out of your spiritual journey, use Pray.com every day and make prayer a priority in your life. Again, our goal for today's meditative prayer is overcoming depression. So let's just begin by taking a minute to unwind. Position yourself in a place and environment that will allow you to relax. And just take a couple of deep breaths. Now elevate your thoughts towards the Lord's throne room. Today we'll be meditating on Psalm chapter 43, verse 5 from the King James Version. It reads, Why art thou cast down, O my soul? And why art thou disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him who is the health of my countenance and my God. My friends, let your worship rise up to God in this moment. God, I praise you because your love never fails. I adore you because you are my rescue and my salvation. You see my needs and you supply every one of them. Father, I praise you for ministering in my heart in times of trouble. I worship you because there has never been a God like you. You never leave us nor forsake us. For all eternity, you are present. Words hold power, so much so that God spoke the world into existence. My friends, you have access to this power, the power to speak life into your own soul. King David, in the midst of his depression, taught humanity a valuable lesson, the life-giving power of words exercised by choice. You have a choice. You decide what you focus on, what you speak over yourself. This can be a difficult truth to accept, but it is true nonetheless. Choosing to be encouraged in the middle of depression won't be easy. In fact, it will seem impossible. This choice, though, will demand every ounce of courage in your heart, but it can be done. This is your moment to share your emotional and mental state with the Holy Spirit. Tell him right now of the depression weighing you down. Now consider the deliverance God has provided you and thank him for it. Thank the Lord for the knowledge he has poured out over you. Thank him for his word that encourages and enables you to overcome. Thank the Holy Spirit for empowering you to understand and apply God's word. Give thanks to God because through his teachings, he grants you blessings of peace and assurance. Never forget, God is present and he is listening to you. So come before his throne and ask him for courage. Courage to choose life, to speak words of comfort and motivation to your soul. Ask the Holy Spirit to enable you to focus on the deliverance God has for you. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you cultivate hope in your heart, a hope so strong that it will surpass any situation you may be facing. 
Remember, you have a choice over what you focus on. Emotions are real, and yes, they should be acknowledged, but you don't have to be controlled by them. You can speak life into your own soul. You can decide to be uplifted by God's promise of deliverance. Your words hold power, so speak with boldness and confidence. Speak life over yourself this day and in every day to come. Have faith that God's word is true, and it will be as he says.
Psalm 23 verse 4 reads, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Pray with me. Dear Lord, you provide all that I need and more. Your provision is the source of life. It brings joy to my soul and peace to my spirit. Your guidance leads me along the right path avoiding danger and keeping me safe in your care. The goodness of your love surrounds me at all times, even in the darkest of times. It is only in you that I find strength and courage to face any challenge with confidence. My heart is filled with gratitude for your grace and your mercy. Thank you for being my shepherd, O Lord, and for giving me life and showing me how to live it. I'm humbled by your love for me, and I give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. My friends, welcome to your meditative prayer on overcoming depression. To get the most out of your spiritual journey, use Pray.com every day and make prayer a priority in your life. Again, our goal for today's meditative prayer is all about overcoming depression. So as we begin, Let's take a moment of our time just to simply unwind. Find a place where you feel free to relax and be open with yourself. Close your eyes. Maybe take a couple of deep breaths. And now invite the presence of the Holy Spirit to come into your space. Today we'll be meditating on Psalm chapter 23 verse 4 from the King James Version. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. My friends, let's begin by taking this time to express our adoration to God. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort who comforts us in all of our affliction. I praise you for your word that corrects and guides me. Father, I adore you for your wisdom and love that drives out all fear. And God, I worship you for you are always beside me 
and you will never leave me alone. Let's be honest. Life can be challenging. There will be seasons you will walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Death of hope and vision. Death of dreams and desire. Death of physical and mental well-being. But regardless of how difficult your walk through the valley becomes, it is essential that you keep moving forward. One truth you must always remember is this. No matter how bad things get or how dark it becomes, you are not alone. God is with you in every moment of every circumstance. God is with you in every moment of every circumstance. He will walk beside you in the shadow, comforting and teaching you along the way. You do not have to fear. Take this moment now to confess your struggle to the Lord. Tell Him of your trials and tell Him of your valleys. Now, my friends, take a moment to dwell on the assurance of God for your life. Thank your Heavenly Father for walking beside you through your many valleys. Thank Him that you can be bold and fearless over all evils. Thank God for His light that overcomes the darkness. Thank Him because His mercies are upon you. And give God thanks for His presence that has never and will never leave. God is present and He is listening to you. If you are stumbling in your walk through the shadow of depression, do not give in. Trust in God, in the comfort of His rod and in the comfort of His staff. He will help you get through this. Do not allow fear of evil and shadows to put out the light Christ has placed within you. Ask for help to continue pressing on. Ask the Holy Spirit to teach you endurance in your walk of life, to teach you to persevere in your fight for your hopes and for your dreams. Ask the Holy Spirit to give you vision for your future and to help you push past the valley and into the hilltop. Remember, in life, there will be both valleys and hilltops. You cannot reach the mountaintop without crossing the valley. Be bold and brave and fear no evil. You are not alone on your journey through this life. God's word and guidance will comfort you along the way. You will get through this and you will walk through the shadow and into the light. Be confident in the love and the care that your heavenly father has for you.
Psalm 40, verses 1 to 2 read, I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me, and he heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay, and set my feet upon a rock, and established my goings. Pray with me if you would. Dear Heavenly Father God, you have set me on a high mountain. Your loving embrace lifts my spirit and fills me with joy and contentment. You are faithful to me, and I praise your goodness that has been evident in my life. Your promises are sure, and you provide for all of my needs. Help me not be anxious about tomorrow, but to trust in you and your unfailing love. All of my hope and faith rests in you alone, for I know you are faithful to fulfill your promises. God, give me the courage to stand firm in my faith and never waver from trusting in your goodness. I ask all of these things in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. My friends, welcome to your meditative prayer on overcoming depression. To get the most out of your spiritual journey, use Pray.com every day and make prayer a priority in your life. Again, our goal for today's meditative prayer is all about overcoming depression. So just for a second, let's go ahead and hit the pause button. Head to your safe spot where you can settle in and settle down. And let's begin by closing our eyes and turning our focus inward. Breathe in and then breathe out. Quiet your thoughts and ready your spirit to receive from God today. Again, today we'll be meditating on Psalm chapter 40, verses 1 to 2 from the King James Version. I waited patiently for the Lord, and he inclined unto me, and he heard my cry. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit and out of the miry clay, and he set my feet upon a rock and established my goings. Take a moment now just to pour out your adoration to Christ. Jesus, I praise you for you hear my cries and you answer me. You remove me from the pit of despair and you set my feet on solid ground. I worship you for in your presence there is healing. I praise you for you are merciful, gracious, and kind and by your love you restore my soul and you renew my mind depression can trap the soul in a deep deep pit it will take away your peace your joy and your desire for this life it will remove stability and make you feel as if you are constantly stuck but that is not the life God intended or created you for God wants to bless you and not to harm you. He wants to give you hope in a future. He wants to establish your plans and he wants you to prosper. He wants to see you thriving in the fullness of the words he has spoken over your life. If you find yourself stuck in a pit, do not despair. Instead, cry out to God. Confess to him your worries and your fears and tell him of what troubles your heart and saddens your spirit. Now take just a few minutes to thank God for his power in your life. Thank him for being attentive to your needs. Thank God for rescuing you from the pit. Thank him for removing your feet out of muddy clay and for setting you upon a firm foundation. Thank him for his past deliverances in your life and for the ones yet to come. Thank Jesus for always leading you and showing you the way and for filling your life with grace and the promise that he will always be there for you. My friends, God is present and he is listening to you. So ask him to have mercy on you and to remove you from the pit, to establish your feet upon a solid rock. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you deal with depression and to give you the mental fortitude to persevere in patience. Ask him to minister to your spirit 
and to renew your mind in the Word of God, to fill you with hope and expectation of a good future. Remember, God hears your pleas for help. He sees you, and He will rescue you. No matter how deep the pit may be, God will not fail you. You can rest assured knowing that He will never let you down. So have patience and trust in God's Word. He will rescue your heart and He will restore your mind. My friends, God will establish your plans and He will give you the ability to see them through.
Psalm 119 verse 105 reads, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Dear God, your word is a guiding light and source of security amid a dark and dangerous world. 
may I never step away from the light provided in your word. Bind me to your wisdom and set my path firmly in your ways. When I stray and my heart wanders from the truth, correct my course and guide me back to you. When lies consume me and keep me from moving forward, dispel the darkness with your radiance. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Welcome to your meditative prayer on overcoming depression. To get the most out of your spiritual journey, use Pray.com every day and make prayer a priority in your life. Again, our goal for today's meditative prayer is overcoming depression. So right now, go ahead and go to a place where you can relax and let your guard down. Now take a moment to disentangle and disengage from your worries. Tune out everything else. Maybe take a deep breath, exhale, and repeat. Let go of the tension you carry in your body and lift your heart up to heaven. Today we'll be meditating on Psalm chapter 119, verse 105 from the King James Version. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. My friends, let's take a moment to pour out our adoration to God for his light. I worship you, Jesus, for you are the light of the world. Whoever follows you will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. I praise you because the unfolding of your word gives light. It gives understanding. I praise you for your light will shine when all else fades. God, may your name be always praised. Depression can feel like constant darkness. It will try to suffocate you and leave you lost and lonely. However, the presence of darkness does not mean the absence of light. God's word is the light that illuminates in the blackest of times. When you feel bogged down and all you see is the darkness, you need to reconnect to the light of God by reading his word. When you cut yourself off from God or try to seek solace somewhere else, you will not be able to find lasting freedom from depression. My friends, take a moment now to dwell on your situation. Be honest with yourself and be honest with God through prayer. Confess to Him the areas of darkness in your own personal life. Now let's spend some time considering for a moment God's light in your life and let's thank him for it. Thank God that he is light and in him there is no darkness. Thank him for shining his light upon your life, for banishing your shadows and your fears. Think for a minute on past experiences where God's word illuminated your path Thank him for directing your footsteps out of obscurity and gloom. Thank God because his light has been and always will be accessible to you. God is present and he is listening to you. Reaching for light in the shadows can seem futile and fear will tell you there is no light to be had. Do not believe this lie and do not be afraid. The Holy Spirit is on your side, and He wants to help you. So approach the throne of God with confidence and boldness. Ask Him to fill your life with the light of His Word. Ask the Holy Spirit to kindle the fire of God in your heart, to stir in you a desire to spend time in His presence and with His Word. Remember, in times of darkness, you can always find light in the Word of God. Do not be overcome or discouraged by the darkness of this world. Instead, turn to the light found in Scripture. God's teachings are a lamp for your feet and His wisdom a light for your path. 
Trust in God. Trust in the power and the promise of his word because you are not alone and your Father above is by your side to light the way.
Psalm 126 verses 5 to 6 read, Those who sow with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying seed to sow, will return with songs of joy, carrying sheaves with them. Pray with me if you would. Heavenly Father God, you have considered my heartache and have acquainted yourself with all my grief. You have kept every tear I have ever shed. You know my frailty and don't hold it against me. May the tears I cry be the water that supplies growth in my life. Cultivate my heart like a garden and tend to my soul like a budding tree. I want to grow from my grief. I do not want to wallow in self-pity. I want to be transformed and be made stronger. Help me, Lord. I know you can. In Jesus' name, amen. My friends, welcome to your meditative prayer on overcoming depression. To get the most out of your spiritual journey, use Pray.com every day and make prayer a priority in your life. Our goal for today's meditative prayer is all about overcoming depression. So let's begin by just taking a second to slow down. Maybe sit in your favorite spot, maybe it's on your bed or wherever you feel the most at ease. Wrap yourself in a warm blanket or go and grab a plush pillow. Once you feel yourself start to relax, turn your thoughts toward the teaching that God has for you today. Again, this morning we'll be meditating on Psalm 126 verses 5 to 6 from the New International Version. It reads, Those who sow with tears will reap with songs of joy. And those who go out weeping, carrying seed to sow, will return with songs of joy, carrying sheaves with them. My friends, take a moment just to pour out your adoration to God. God, I worship you because of your faithfulness. I praise you for you have called me to be the head and not the tail. You promise that your blessings shall come upon me and overtake me. I praise you, for as I hope in you, you renew my strength. You alone are worthy of all my praise. Sometimes you have to work through your depression. This can be excruciatingly hard. There's a difference between being planted and being buried. And you decide if you become a grave or a garden. In the season of opposition, when you find yourself forgotten and alone, my friends, you have a choice to make. You can allow your tears to water your work, or you can roll over and die. The Bible teaches that hope deferred makes the heart sick, but a longing fulfilled is a tree of life. Sowing through your tears will feel heartbreaking, but you must persevere. For if you do not sow, you will never reap the manifestation of your longing. Perhaps you find yourself surrounded by dirt and darkness. You must remember, you are a precious seed. The process might hurt, but the results will be worthwhile. God is waiting for you. Confess your troubles to your Father above, so He may aid you in your time of need. My friends, think for a minute on all the times God gave growth to your life. Those times when you felt stalled out and stagnant, but God saved you. Times where God's process hurt, but brought amazing results in your life. Thank Him for all the past wisdom and righteousness resulted from being planted. Thank Him for the areas of growth, understanding, and maturity. Now think of the seeds buried in your garden and thank God for the blossoms to come. God is present and he is listening to you. Never forget, the sowing may be painful, but the result will be a tree of life. God wants you to grow as a person 
and to experience fulfillment. So reach out to God for his grace and his mercy to be upon you. Ask him to bless you with a mind for endurance and a desire for perseverance. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you be patient in the process, to not give up, and to not only survive, but to thrive. Remember, what is sown in tears, you will reap in joy. If you do the work, even if it's done in sadness, you will reap the joy of the harvest. So be encouraged. Just because you don't see the light at the end of the tunnel doesn't mean it isn't there. You have God's Holy Spirit to help you and to guide you every step of the way. He will never leave you and he will never abandon you. Through faith in Christ, you can and you will blossom into a beautiful garden.
1 Kings chapter 19 verse 4 reads, But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness, and came and sat down under a juniper tree. And he requested for himself that he might die, and said, It is enough now, O Lord, take away my life, for I am not better than my father's. Dear Heavenly Father God, it is comforting that even a mighty prophet like Elijah felt crushed and depressed. It is even more comforting that you tended to him gently and you restored him with comfort, connection, and calling. God, minister to my heart in that same way. When I am at my lowest, would you meet me there? Would you comfort me in my despair? I always want to be honest with you. There is no hiding anything from you. So why lie or hide my feelings anyways? Here I am, Lord. I'm imperfect, I'm struggling, and I'm desperately in need of you. Restore me, God. In Jesus' name that I pray, amen. My friends, welcome to your meditative prayer on overcoming depression. To get the most out of your spiritual journey, use Pray.com every day and make prayer a priority in your life. Again, our goal for today's meditative prayer is overcoming depression. So just take a minute to calm your heart. Maybe go to a place where you can recline and relax. Close your eyes. Breathe easy. And let the realization that God is waiting and wanting to speak with you, fill your thoughts. Today, we'll be meditating on 1 Kings 19, verse 4, from the King James Version. But he himself went a day's journey into the wilderness, and came and sat down under a juniper tree. And he requested for himself that he might die, and said, It is enough now, O Lord, take away my life, for I am no better than my father's. Let us take time to adore God. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all of our affliction. Father, I praise you, for you are my compassionate Father. Your love is always willing to receive me when I call on you. Accomplishments do not grant exemption from depression. Successful people still get depressed. Elijah had just achieved one of the greatest biblical milestones. He prayed and God answered his call with fire from heaven. In doing so, God proved his sovereignty before Israel in Babylon and established Elijah as his prophet. However, in the immediate aftermath of this glorious experience, Elijah gave in to fear of Jezebel's retribution and ran away. While fleeing, he found himself so overcome by heart sickness that he asked for death. In life, you will experience both ups and downs. You will have moments of triumph and joy and moments of fear and despair. That's just a part of life. The secret to survival, though, lies in trusting God. So take this moment to confess your doubt to the Lord. Tell Him of your trials and your fears. Now take a moment to dwell on the compassion of God in your life. 
thank your heavenly father who sees your struggle with depression. He will uphold you through these hard times. Think of how he tenderly reaches out to you. Remember how his kindness will never leave you, regardless of where you are or what's going on. Thank God for all his love over your life. And thank him because he will always care for you. God is present and he is listening to you. If you are struggling in your efforts of dealing with depression, my friend, please do not give up. Lean on God. He understands what you're feeling. Jesus can help you get through this. Do not allow this situation to stifle your love or to keep you from receiving his. Ask God to teach you to depend on him. Ask the Holy Spirit to teach you to be patient and to rely on him. Ask the Holy Spirit to help you push past the hurt and into his healing hands. Remember, victories don't exempt you from struggle. When life takes an unexpected turn or you find yourself unsatisfied with where you are, turn to God. God's comfort and acceptance are waiting for you. Do not delay in seeking him. Be confident in the tenderness and care your heavenly father has for you and allow his everlasting love to flow through you into every area of your life.